Now that official support for the Docker container runtime has been dropped by Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8 and CentOS 8, what are container admins to do? Fortunately, the developers at Red Hat have developed Podman, which functions without requiring a container daemon, as all containers and pods are created as child processes. I want to walk you through the steps for installing and using Podman on CentOS 8. Podman doesn't have its own installation package because it is a part of another tool. So to gain access to Podman, open a terminal window on your CentOS 8 server and issue the command sudo dnf install at container-tools-y. Let's say you want to pull the Ubuntu image. To do this, issue the command podman pull ubuntu. To list your existing images, issue the command podman images. The above command will list out all of the images you've pulled, along with the image ID. To delete an image, you do so using the image ID, just like you do with the Docker runtime. Issue the command podman rmi id, where id is the id of the image to be deleted. Now let's say you want to deploy a container using the newly downloaded Ubuntu image. I'm going to demonstrate an incredibly basic container deployment, one that will deploy a container based on the Ubuntu image and then use the echo command from within the container to print out the message, Welcome Tech Republic. To deploy this container with Podman, issue the command podman run dash dash rm ubuntu slash bin slash echo double quote welcome to Tech Republic period double quote. You should almost immediately see the text printed out. Let's deploy a container that routes external port 8080 to internal port 8080. This can be done with the podman run command shown in the article. This command must be run with sudo, as port bindings are not yet supported by rootless containers. To list your running containers, you will have to, again, make use of sudo like this. sudo podman ps. The above command will list out all of your running containers. To stop that container, issue the command sudo podman stop id, where id is the name of the container id. To delete the now stopped container, issue the command sudo podman rm id, where id is the name of the container id. <laughs> Hey everybody! Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our Tech Republic YouTube channel. And be sure to check out more how-to videos at How to Make Tech Work.